Check one, two. Check, check one, two. Test audio feed. Check one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Check audio feed. One, two, three. Check one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Check one, two, three. Please note that Notre Dame's locker room is currently open and will be open for the next 30 minutes. Also, just a few quick reminders as we wait. If you could use this time to check your cell phone and make sure that the ringer is turned off. Also, there is no flash photography and no live stream recording as well. If you need FTP information, you can check with Mr. Hammonds in the back and he'll get that to you. Rachel to Susan. The media just wants me to confirm that it is Notre Dame's locker room that is open for the next 30 minutes. Correct. They have decided to open the locker room early. They've decided to open it early. Okay, thank you. Got it, thank you.
Tony. Tony. No changes. Can you grab, when they have final stats, if you could grab some, sometimes the head coach has wanted to have those in front of them and bring those stats if they've got final stats. She went to get some final stats for the table. So she may be flying solo for a little bit. Okay.
The Ohio State team is on their way to the podium and we will begin the press conference shortly. The Ohio State locker room is also open and will be open for the next 30 minutes. Thank you for joining us for the press conference for the Ohio State women's basketball team. We're joined at the podium by head coach Kevin McGuff and student athletes Kelsey Mitchell and Shayla Cooper. Again, if you could please raise your hand, we will bring you a microphone and make sure that you identify yourself and your organization. We will begin with an opening statement by the head coach. Uh, we, can, we can take questions. Too. Okay, athletes. we'll go straight to questions. Questions for our student athletes. Dispatch. Um, Kelsey, did this Notre Dame show you guys anything you weren't expecting? I mean, was there anything that you guys didn't see in preparation that that team brought out? Uh, everything that they did today was stuff that our coaches touched on and we harped on for a whole week. Um, I just think they outplayed us. They outplayed us defensively and offensively. Uh, Rob Aller, Columbus Dispatch. Uh, is it for Kevin? Um, a, from a program standpoint, is this a good measuring stick of really where you want to go still because they had an answer for everything and they were just uh, a buzzsaw at the end. Yeah, the, they, Notre Dame played great. They really did. They played an excellent game, so give them all the credit in the world. And, you know, any mistake that we made, they made us pay for. And they executed on off, offense extremely well and, and clearly shot the ball um, also extremely well. So they played a great game and, you know, they were certainly the better team today and deserved to win. And, you know, if, if as we aspire to continue to grow the program, that's that's what we kind of want to look like in a game like this. If we can stick to questions to the student athletes, and then we'll open it up with questions for the head coach after that. James Greg of Buckeye Sports Bulletin. Kelsey, did this game have the feel of maybe like reverse from the Maryland game, where maybe you, you guys weren't necessarily playing poorly, but the other team was just hitting a lot of consecutive shots? Uh, yeah, they exactly what you said. They just they kept hitting. Uh, possession after possession and after a while they got themselves in a the rhythm and um, we couldn't run them off the three like we needed to especially in the clutch times like the second quarter was really really important and crucial because that's when they kind of sort of took it away from us. Sheila with this the way this Notre Dame team moved the ball how difficult was it to close out especially on on threes and long jumpers and things like that? Um, it was uh, not as difficult um, as it may have seemed. Um, it was just knowing scout a little bit better, knowing where the shooters are, and knowing who's going to put the ball on the floor and who's going to shoot it. Um, I think we could have probably did a better job at that. Shayla, how would you describe and maybe summarize your, your Ohio State career with all that you've been through in the last couple of years? I would summarize it as a, be a great experience. Um, I mean, I've grown as a person, as a player. Um, I want to thank Coach McGuff. Got you. We good. We got you. We got you. I just want to thank my coach for giving me the opportunity to play here. My uh, teammates for picking me up when I was down, and the coaching staff for making me a better player and a person. You, 
you described this group as a pretty special one from the start of the season. When you, I know it's still pretty fresh, but when you look back on this group um, and what you guys were able to accomplish this season, what, what are your initial thoughts? Man, we've been through a lot as a team. Um, we've been through everything uh, from the ups to downs, the losses, um, the crazy practices that we have sometimes to um, the arguments with Mong's teammates. Um, I think it, it, it's made us great people. Um, I think we can only go up from here. Um, I think this game has taught us a lot about ourselves and where we need to grow as players and as people in general and as specifically as a, as a culture and as a team and as a program. Um, Notre Dame uh, is a fantastic team. I think they've done a good job with the things that they've accomplished. And um, I think us playing them tonight only can only show us what we need to get better at. And I, I just want to say thank you to my teammates and this program for supporting us. Any other questions for the student athletes? If not, then they can be dismissed. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks. And we'll open it up with questions for the head coach. Coach, how much was a load? Uh, how much of a load was twenty four for y'all to handle tonight? No, Rike played great, you know, and she's she's outstanding player. And what she did tonight is she scored from the the three point line. She drove the ball. She posted up. So she really showed her versatility, and, and that really gave us problems. Um, Kevin, it seemed like the response was a little bit better to start out the third quarter. What do you think changed over those next six, seven minutes that kind of put the game out of reach? Yeah, we, we had a great start to the third quarter, and I, I really liked what we were doing on both ends of the floor. Um, we started defending better during that stretch, but, but then we quit rebounding. And I think ultimately they've got some easy putbacks and kind of got the momentum back in, in their favor. And I think that's what really kind of put them on that path to pull away. Kelsey said this was sort of a gauge also of where the program is. It's, it's, I guess it's dangerous to take one game mm -hmm. as a barometer, but what can get better? How do you get to that level? Yeah, you know, we have to continue to evolve. I mean, we've, we've grown um, as a team and as a program, uh, but we're not there yet. You know, I think culturally we've, we've taken some, some, some great steps, but we're still not where we want to be. And, um, you know, hopefully this game will give us some experience that we need and we can carry that forward, you know, to the to um, to next season. I told the team afterwards that, you know, when I was an assistant coach at Notre Dame, um, we lost in the Sweet 16, and we lost in the Sweet 16, and then we won a national championship. So a lot of this is you, you have to you have to stick to it. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep grinding. Uh, you got to year round make sure you're continuing to get better. You got to evolve culturally. And that stuff takes time. And so I think we've, we've, we've grown leaps and bounds, but we're not there yet. And, but hopefully this is another experience that will help us continue to grow to, to, to get where we ultimately want to be. Kevin, back in the back. Uh, I'd like for you to comment on, uh, I think it was uh, Erin Bully and how much of a load she was to handle uh, tonight. Yeah, she shot the ball really, really well. And, you know, for, for someone her size, that's, uh, she's kind of a unique player that way. But she, her, her three-point shooting was, was really hard for us to handle. And, um, you know, our post players kind of trying to chase her around on the perimeter was, was a problem for us. Uh, Coach, you return a lot next year. Obviously, lose Shayla. But kind of going off of what you just said, how encouraging is it to know that you return, I mean, nine players who played significant minutes? And then could you just touch on what Shayla meant to the program and for you? Yeah, no, Shayla's, you know, it's been really fun to see her grow. Um, she's really grown on and off the court. And I'm excited about her because she's got a bright future ahead. And um, she's done a great job academically. She's a really bright kid. And so she'll play basketball for a long time. And then after that, she'll put herself in position to have a great career in whatever it is that she chooses to do. So it's been really fun to see her grow, though. That's been the biggest thing. And you know, we, we have a great opportunity. We return a lot of great players and uh, a lot of good kids. So you know, hopefully, you know, as we continue to, to get experience, like in games like this, we can, that can be really valuable for us. But it's a, it's a big off season for us. Um, it's hard in women's basketball to, to really jump into that elite group at the top. Um, you know, Notre Dame and Connecticut and, and Baylor, they've been doing it for a long time. 
and they're not going to go anywhere. So you have to really, really fight and scratch and claw, and we got to have a phenomenal off season. Uh, but I think we got the right kids in the program to do that. So I'm, I'm encouraged about that. Um, so you know, we'll get back, we'll get a little bit of rest, and we'll put a plan together to make sure that um, you know we have a great spring, summer, fall, and we'll be ready to go next year. Kind of touched on it, but obviously there's, this is a disappointing game. But how do you pair that with some of the successes you've had this season? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it's 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 really hard because our kids have really invested so much in this season, and all of a sudden it just comes to a screeching halt. And after you know when you lose, um, so it's sometimes kind of hard to reflect back right away. But you know, we won the Big Ten, um, we went to the Sweet Sixteen, so we, we've accomplished quite a bit, and um, so. You know, probably probably be a little bit easier in the coming days and weeks to really reflect because um, right now it's just so tough off for, off of this loss after this loss. Uh, Kevin, back here again, please. Early on in the game, you guys uh, the three point game is what kept you guys in it. Was that something you were, were practiced on or uh, prepared for? Was that part of the game plan? Yeah, no. I mean, I knew they would play a lot of zones, so we were going to have to hit some shots in the perimeter. Um, I didn't want to totally rely on that because I thought you know with Tori and Alex and Steph, we'd have a, a size advantage. Um, so we were trying to get some balance in, in what we were doing. Um, but we shot the ball. We, we shot the three well early. Now, we missed some shots early that, that we normally make, and, and Notre Dame got off to a really good start. And I thought that kind of affected us a little bit. Um, but, but we certainly did shoot the three well. Any other questions for the head coach? Thank you. Thank you very much. The Ohio State locker room will be open for 17 more minutes and nine more minutes for the Notre Dame locker room. Uh, Tony. Thank you for joining us for the press conference for the Notre Dame women's basketball team. We're joined at the podium by head coach Muppet McGraw and student athletes Aaron Boley and Arike Ogunbowale. We will begin with an opening statement from the head coach. I'm, I'm just so proud of this team right now, especially our freshmen and sophomores. I mean, our young players just really stepped up in such a big game. Uh, I thought Aaron played best game of the season. Arike with a career high uh, in, a, in a huge game uh, without Bree. You know, it was it was a struggle for us this week um, trying to overcome that. And uh, just so proud of uh, the resilience of this team. And we'll open it up with questions for the student athletes. Oh, if you can hang on just a second, we'll bring in microphone and identify yourself and what organization. Ken Klimek, South Bend, both Aaron and Ricky just came out confident, loose. Can you talk about that? Um, I think, well, Coach said, well, it's evident that we don't have Bree in the paint, so it's spaced out a little bit more. So Coach told us to shoot our shot and be confident, so that's what we tried to do. I thought we came out really uh, focused. Everybody um, was pretty loose and focused, and um, I thought we did a good job of coming out prepared and ready to play. Coach, not an okay, not an oversimplification, but was the lane open because there weren't two people down there guarding Bree? Uh, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of usually help side with her, but they had to really honor us because we had about four or five players on 
the court that can shoot a three, so you couldn't sag off too much or we would get a three, so they had to really step up to their man. Enrique, did you feel any, any pressure to step up a little bit more on the offensive end to make up for Brianna's loss? Uh, no, not pressure. I mean, I just know I had to play my game regularly how I really do and just work within the offense and just be confident. Aaron, how is it to be back into the state and to play in front of, I'm sure, a lot of family and friends? It's good to be back in Kentucky. And, you know, I have a lot of family and friends that came that um, don't usually get to see a game. So it was good to be back home. Do you know, will you guys stay and watch this next game? Or, or what do you know about uh, either Stanford or Texas to either one of you? I think we'll probably watch the fourth quarter, then go and get some rest, or the first quarter. <laughs> Any other questions for the student athletes? If not, then they can be dismissed. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we'll open it up with questions for the head coach. Coach, not perhaps an oversimplification, but in terms of what you devised, did you just tell them, go? You know, what we, what we looked at was the ability to post up our guards. Um, so we wanted to take advantage of that because we had Aaron and Kat at the free throw line. They had to guard them. Um, so we could stretch the defense a little bit more. Um, they, they had to guard everybody, and it opened things up for Enrique, for Jackie uh, around the basket. And then they had some mismatches um, with their post trying to guard us on the perimeter. So I, I thought we did a really good job of taking advantage of those mismatches. Coach, just elaborate a little bit on how good was Enrique tonight. Yeah, she was fabulous. I mean, uh, I, I had to chuckle when someone asked her if she felt pressure. That, that's a word she doesn't know the meaning of. She is absolutely fearless. Um, I, I think she was, she was somebody, I think, that was pretty excited when we talked about how we were going to play from here on out because she's capable. I mean, she sacrifices a lot for the team um, willingly, and uh, it was great for her to just be able to open things up and, and play her game. Coach, could you talk about the play of Westbelt uh, playing with Bree out? Kat is, is the glue to our team. Uh, she is just somebody we have to have in the game. 11 rebounds, but she works the high post in the zone offense so well. Um, she works the pick and roll so well. Uh, she makes it hard to guard because you have to guard her on the perimeter as well. Um, just such a smart player and really um, she, she was hurting a little bit and she really just uh, kept on going. Coach Mike Marcy, Associated Press, can you talk about the significance of uh, the way Aaron played uh, given that she's coming back home and given the increased role she had? You know, a lot of times I worry when a, when a kid goes home because they're just trying a little too hard to impress their family and friends. Uh, it's, it's a big game for them. And uh, I, was, I was just so proud of her because she was able to relax, to play her game, and played the best game of the season uh, in such a, a big game uh, coming home. It was, it was just so rewarding to see that. Any other questions for the head coach? Thank you very much. This is Rachel. Any locker room updates that I need to share with the media? The Ohio State locker room will also be open for 10 more minutes and the Notre Dame locker room is currently closed. <laughs> 